I look back at LePan's body. Um, I think for a second. Um, and then I jump out the window. You take... Sprinkles still in there. You come out of rage for not attacking. You take uh, full eight points of damage. I'm down. Can I catch him as a reaction? I have my shield reaction still and everything. Uh, you can have the damage, or no? You yeah, you can take the damage. Yeah, yeah you catch I'll him. just like let you him crash into You take eight points me. of damage as you catch your king falling out of the window. Um, Liam, you're outside now. You're at five hit points. Um, ah, Hila died. <laughs> the Pontifex walks over here. Looks at Keridin. Keridin closes his eyes, prays, lifts his mace, and takes just enough time to give Lepan one last turn. Really? You have one last death save. There is only one thing that can possibly save you, and it's a nat 20, which would let you regain one hit point and take a turn. I'm um, gonna get the box of doom. I know you can fly if you still have a spell. I don't know if you do. Who does? He's only done one move this whole Please. fight. This is this is the nat twenty right here. Come on, sugar blood there. Come on. I fucking hate you, but please. That's a thirteen. Oh. Um, on the ground outside of the cathedral. You all need desperately to run as fast as you can. Um, Le Pan, bludgeoned and beaten by Sir Caradin's mace, uh, you are unable to cast spells, but your eyes open blearily for a moment. As you look up, you see the Pontifex and Sir Caradin um, staring down at you. Pontifex lips curl. She says, heretic, apostate, warlock of the sugar plum fairy. <laughs> you mock that which is bright and shining. Do you have any last words? Uh, can I get insight check just to see if she- if she knows the true nature of the ball. Um, yeah, uh, give me give me uh, one uh, with advantage. It's only a 14. <sighs> the blood seeps into your eyes. You can't quite look at her. She stares at you and you think, um, that this woman uh, doesn't, not only doesn't know whether the bulb is real or not, or sentient or not, you also think she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. And you think that she gets what she wants from the bulb, and that is power. Any last words? Knowing that, <laughs> I just want to say just loudly to everyone that the bulb cares for no one. She whips her head to Keridan and says, end it. You hear a voice in your ear. They wouldn't have survived this without you. My third wish is for you to come home. Hmm. In the alley outside, you watch Keridan stand up and a sickening crunch as chocolate splashes and covers the front of the church. With a final twitch, Le Pan is gone. There is no time to mourn. You have to move. 
Um, um, I try to grab everyone. We need yeah, to go yeah, now, run. King. Oh, I start running. You manage one last look through the windows as Keridan stands up expressionless and turns to look at you, points through the window, and you flee into the streets of Kamada. And that's it for this episode of A Crown of Candy. See you guys next week. <laughs>